Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the Top Commander 2017 reprints. There are a few good ones in this set and look to pick them up very cheaply and flip them in two to five years. So we will start with Rakasa Golden Cub. This card was around $3 and now it is going to be reprinted in a cat deck with another very expensive card in it. Another very expensive it's take a guess what it is i did not expect to see it here because it was just recently reprinted as a mythic but rakesha and the other cats are very good for the cat deck they pretty much printed every cat of notable value a minus brimaz so brimaz has the potential to go up in price should he see play and also not be reprinted in the future but the card that has been the card this card is fantastic as a reprint mary's wake this is a very pricey card it is 13 dollars right now pre-order and before it was reprinted it was around 15 to 17 and rising it's quite surprising to see it in a set so recent or see it in a to get reprinted so recently from the past reprint but that is what Wizard of the Coast is doing. They are making sure that you, get, as the player, get value in the decks. And there are lots of value. Every deck is worth it, in my opinion. Some decks are going to be more worth it. This one, in particular, where you have a $13 card, which is very popular in EDH. Yes, the cat deck is definitely worth it. Remember, you have other ninety, you have ninety nine more cards on top of that. Next, we have Marcella, the Black Rose. Surprising reprint again. This came from Commander Take the Crown, which was recent. Uh, it wasn't an unrecent set, but she's getting another reprint in the Wizard deck. She is perfect for them. She is Grixis. I'm not sure if it's going to be a foil. I'm assuming it's not foil. And the commanders that are in foil are the newer commanders, which would make a lot more sense. Marcella is very, very good as a commander, and I actually do have a deck of her. I'm building the deck. I'm still missing a few pieces, but it should be very good. It is interesting to note, like, Mary's Wake, Marcella, these are very recent reprints that have been thrown into a commander deck. So nothing is safe very little safe talking about cards that have gone up a little bit in price we have have gone licks lick lich and it is five dollars and 36 cents right now but it should take a huge plummet it is also in the wizard deck so these are cards that we're going to talk about right now are reprints the large majority of the value of the deck is actually in the new cards the reprints are just bonus these cards should go down a lot in price. Um, something like having gone lit will just plummet into oblivion. Let's say it's five now. I could see it at two dollars or less within 90 days from release of Commander 2017. Commander 2017, there's just so many copies of it because it is unlike Eternal Masters or Modern Masters, you can buy it at any Walmart, you can buy it at any Walgreens, you can buy it at any Barnes and Noble buy any target toys or us so the distribution is massive when you compare it to eternal or any of the master series next you have captivated vampire and this card has gone up a ton in price it is seven dollars right now fantastic card in edh i have a bunch of these i believe uh, vampires generally do very well but there's always a danger of reprint right now that this seven dollar card has been reprinted is this worth seven dollars anymore probably not probably it's worth two dollars maybe three dollars at most and it would be a compelling buy Vamp a lot of these reprints are going to take a massive hit the question is, which reprint do you want to go in on? The last reprint I went on in on was Gisela. You know, I love Gisela, and I think she's fantastic, and she got to the point that she was $2, $2.25. 
that's a perfect price because I can never see, I cannot see her being that price. Now, another card, Black Market. Wow. Um, it shows you that Wizard of the Coast is not afraid to put in a reprint in a, in a commander set, in a supplemental product. And that bodes very well for the new products like 25th Anniversary Masters and Iconic Masters. Just because it was in Modern Masters or Eternal Masters does not mean it is precluded from from any future Masters. Like Iconic Masters, we could have more Tamagoyfs, we could have Force of Wills, we could have Lilianas, we could have Snapcaster Mages. They are going heavy on reprints, which is good. Um, I... If you have a larger collection, if you have lots of card stock, it's just time to downsize, right? Like downsize, make some money, use that money to spend on a really nice dinner with your significant other. But who actually needs, who needs eight Tamagoys? But I had eight Tamagoys. I don't need eight Tamagoys. I'm downsized to four now. This is my favorite speculation. Should it, and I believe it will, go down to two or even $1.50, I think it's going to get there. Scion of the Your Dragon. This card used to be ten bucks, and it's good enough, in my opinion, to be ten dollars. Now it's going to be reprinted, and it'll be in every single Dragon Edates Commander deck for now until whenever, because now it's five color support, right? However, and big however in this one, it's just one of those cards that if you're a new player or you're a casual player. You look at it, it's five colors, it gets you more dragons, it becomes a copy of any dragon you want, so it's a tutoring, a pseudo tutor ability, at least until end of turn. Fantastic. A uncommon reprint is Lightning Greaves. This card has got up to four dollars, and it is in multiple of these decks. I think it's in two of them. I would imagine it's in at least two. This is a $4 uncommon that needed a reprint, and now it's reprinted. Fantastic. They have done a good job. This is a great set, and I don't think you can lose money by buying the set, even at MSRP. Now, obviously, you can buy online for cheaper, and people will probably do that. I'm going to get one of each, and then I'm going to build them together. Actually, I'm going to keep them intact. A lot of my friends, they're more casual players so this kind of makes more sense for them to just have the decks intact and there's so much value in the new cards and then there's a lot of value in the um, there's a lot of value in the reprints as well and lastly Nin the pain artist has recently snuck up to six dollars the reprint will make her extremely low um, it's one of those things that because she's harder to get that's where her price comes from. But now that she's going to be in every single wizard deck and everyone will have one of her. Trading for this will be very easy and buying it online because online vendors are likely to open dozens of copies, right? Dozens and dozens of copies of this. So anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below with your favorite reprint. Bye guys.